Oh, Fuchs, no. Fuchs is a changed man. He doesn't deserve this anymore. Where's Berkman going? I don't know. Fuck you, son of a bitch. Talk. God, the warden was just like kind of getting his foot in there. Just probably not doing too much damage, but just the fact that he's doing it's kind of insulting. Kicking a horse while he's down. But can't we focus on all the stuff I did to protect you? I guess I'm just disappointed. Ouch, that burns. Dude, really? God, they're that on edge. Kustano's not here. Jim, I got this. Where's Burke? <laughs> we are going to catch him, Jim. If you find Berkman before we do, please don't kill him. I can't promise that. Ooh. Jim just seems like a man of the law. Like, no matter what, he's going to obey it. Maybe a little bendage, but... Hard not to focus on someone who knows I put a heel out on them. We know you've been busting your nuts. Time for a little R&R, &R, don't you think? Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Hey, it's Sally. You want to run your monologue? Mega Girls? Holy shit. Is it like a big budget production? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very big budget. Coda is a masterpiece. Yeah, I'm clearly switching gears with this one. On Coda, I worked with committed actors to tell a deeply personal story, and now I'm working with models in Halloween costumes. I think it's going to be a good movie, I think. I think it's gonna be good. Mega girls, they're gonna think whoever made that made Coda. Uh, she's not happy, huh? Not thrilled about that direction. I will gladly throw my body into the fires of hell so that future generations may. I'm so sorry. I, I, I forgot the line. I don't... Oh, she is unraveling. Why did the music get all weird? Was that a really important call or something? Gene, the plastic man. <laughs> okay. Barry Berkman escaped from prison. Damn. Some... Dropping that on him here. Oh, here we go. Guess, yeah, give this whole gun thing another go. Why not? Watch him end up shooting the wrong person or something. He's not gonna give up Berkman even after that motherfucker sold him out. Damn. They feeling bad for Fuchs? Okay, your character is sacrificing herself, right? So think of a time when you recently sacrificed yourself. What is that? What? My last boyfriend was 5'3". Shit, it's really short. <laughs> Look at me and do this. It is I who will bear this burden. I am not a foolish girl. I am Don't a brave woman. Don't take the role. And I can Don't look at the director. Gladly lay this body into the fires of hell. It's Sally. Sally, really? That was unreal. <gasps> now, if I could just get that to come out of that. <laughs> she really tried that, man. Sally really tried that. <laughs> Hank. God, Hank is scared shitless. Hank's like the dude in the first John Wick movie who's like, he knew John Wick was coming for him and there was nothing he could do about it but just sit there and wait. Wait for it to come. You weren't winning. You weren't stopping him. It's just a matter of time. That's what Hank, where his mind is at. Who wants to see the sand? We're going into hostile territory and these assholes are packing serious heat. The Dave and Busters? The Dave and Busters? <laughs> what are... You got what? A Dave and Busters, man. Their first instinct is to just jump everybody. That's wild. It's okay when you see this much and you're going yeah, we to we still haven't seen Barry. Where is Barry? Let's go. Oh, that is uh, that is actually pretty dope. I would be terrified of sinking though. Everyone say sand pirates! Sand, sand pirates! pirates! That's adorable. Okay. First of all. <laughs> I need your help with something, okay? Another big surprise. Hey, Christopher, wait, 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 let me show you something. Okay, quick, 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 Real quick, quick. quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, shit! That's what I was terrified of. What? Oh my God, it's just filling. Oh my. Hello? Hank, something went wrong, Hank. Oh my Hank, God. Help me. Oh, that is so scary. That close to getting buried alive. Oh my God. The sounds and then silence. Christopher, hold on. Hold on, I'm coming up, I'm coming. Christopher. Christopher. Oh, he's good. 
He's good. Ay, ay, ay. I thought you were right behind me. Oh, now what, man? One thing after another now? Is it Barry or the police? Who is this chump? Oh, I see. Good job, Hank. But here, don't you think he did good job? I told you he'd be happy, Hank. What? What did Hank do? Did Hank sell them the whole thing out? Was it like completely planned that everyone would be in that silo in the center right there? And that's why he was like, come on, Cristobal. Come on, come with me real quick. I have a surprise for you. You want to come see this? I mean, I guess Hank really wants that protection. Really needs that protection from Barry that he'd resort to that. Has Fuchs earned any respect around here? They waited for him to eat first? Was that what that was? Dude, he looks like... Shit. Sure. God, where is Barry at? It's not him. Yeah, like, he wouldn't just turn on a light. I mean, I guess he is kind of oblivious. He, he just shot at the wrong son. He probably shot his son. He shot his son. He just shot his son. Oh, Gene. Well, his son doesn't seem too worried about it. Seemed a little kind of disappointed about it. Hi, are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my god, you don't know. You know what? Oh, about Barry. Damn. Every time I hear it, it's like the first time I'm hearing it, but I just, I don't realize that not everyone knows. This friend of yours, he does not take food with us. You know, it might take him a minute to uh, adjust to the situation. No. Here's the ball. Our friends are leaving. Cristobal. Cristobal's not gonna roll over, man. As long as you are part of Hank's family, you are part of ours. And why'd they have to make Hank do something to make me not like Hank? Now, what are we doing here, man? Everyone is such awful people in this show. You killed all those men. I think we both got blinded by the idea of a perfect world, but it's unrealistic. Oh, Hank. You want to be a crime lord? Now we are crime lords. No, I, I want it to be legitimate. Yeah. When you say that word, you sound naive. Oh, my God, Hank. Why would you Andre and Batir would have wiped us out. There was no other choice. Who are you? Mmm. That's what I'm saying, man. I feel more like myself than I ever have. The man I love wouldn't have done something so cold blooded. I, I don't understand. <laughs> and I would never fall in love with a psychopath. Yeah, well, it took a psychopath to save you from your crazy f***ing wife, okay? You got taken advantage of, okay? I'm sorry, but that does not jive with peace and love and harmony. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. I this is a completely different person. Oh my god. Where are you going? I'm leaving you, Hank. I can't trust you anymore, Hank. You can't leave me. Oh, oh my god. Don't threaten not him. Much. You, he's threatening him. You are going to let me drive away from here, and we are never going to speak to each other ever again. Hey, what you did is completely unforgivable. Like you know what too you much. No, you, you know too much. You know oh my God. No, please, 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 please. Oh I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. please. I'm sorry. Oh my God, this is oh so God. hard to watch. Leave me, Leave me alone. I didn't think this through. Okay, I did not think this through. Christopher, I love you. It's over. Oh, dude, this is not a direction I was expecting. God, what a scene. Sorry, Hank. We were hoping that wouldn't happen. Huh? What? Are you s the that is so heartbreaking. My god, I wasn't expecting this direction whatsoever. Hank and Chris Ball were the two I was the most confident about going into this last season. Like, they are going to make it to the end. Their, their relationship is going to make it. Holy shit, it's one of the first things out. Hank is... I cannot... Uh, what the hell, man? What an unbelievable scene. Just, oh my god. Barry? Oh my, I knew I saw, like, that white... Oh, that is incredible. I know this is crazy, but if I could just stay here. Let's go. No kidding. Really? <laughs> it's not over? Go home, John. Just go home. Travis, come with me. John and Travis, what? Oh my god, this is what this is. Okay.
I knew that something about the living room kitchen looked familiar. What is happening? What? Oh, uh, well, that was the most heartbreaking episode of the entire season series so far. The only thing I can even think about that whole episode. Obviously, like, the, the ending there is really fresh on the mind with the callback to... What was it again? What was it like? Obviously, it was, like, Barry's vision of his future with Sally. It, it's really fuzzy exactly what that was, but, like, what the hell was that ending? But even through all that, like, the only thing I can even think of was that ending scene with Hank and Cristobal. Holy hell, man. Unbelievable performances from both of those guys. Even with Hank threatening him, like, hey, you can't leave, you know too much, I still wasn't expecting that that ending there. I don't know. I was just, uh, like I said, I was expecting those two to make it somehow through everything. Because, like, I feel like Barry's been on track for a dark ending for every single character but there was there's just been something maybe it was just some naive part of my brain just really hoping for it but i just thought hank and or cristobal would be the one thing that would make it to the end and have their happy ending off into the sunset but obviously that is not going to be the case i mean obviously cristobal didn't get it but i cannot see hank having it from here on out he's i mean what a spiral he had in this episode ever since finding out that barry threw him under the bus he has just changed so much and then just seeing how changed he was in that scene with Cristobal like he was he sounded like a completely different person the way he spoke the things he was saying was just not no ho Hank and it got to a point where I was like yeah I mean they've made it so Hank is not likable anymore now it's just Cristobal and then they killed Cristobal so now what the hell do you have Barry's not likable Sally's not likable Fuchs is not likable although he's actually turning a leaf Gene's not likable like nobody is likable in this show well I mean I mean, depending on what you think of likable but like they they are all in the wrong and not on a great path gene just shot his son sally just tried to take her client's job right from under her some really slimy stuff tried to abuse her position to steal a job i don't think barry needs any explanation it's just crazy to see hank take that turn and to see it just have such a heartbreaking ending there that's probably the most shocking moment in the entire show because i'm telling you 100 percent, i was so confident in those two my god now what dude now what